Good afternoon, ladies. Welcome to my channel, Mom on Purpose. I know I have been missing in action for the last couple of weeks, but it has been quite a hectic time in my life preparing for the holiday season and everything like that. So I appreciate you guys' patience, and I am here with another video. So today I want to talk about um, my experience as um, a nursing mother. I breastfeed my son and I want to kind of talk about the lactation experience. Let me start this video by saying if you choose not to breastfeed your child, this is completely your choice, your decision. You are the mother so you make that decision on your own never let anyone pressure you to go one way or the other um sometimes i do understand that formula feeding is the best option for your lifestyle um but you know if you choose to breastfeed i'd love for you to watch this video even if you choose to formula feed i'd love for you to watch this video just so you can know what the experience was like at least for me um so the first thing is i knew the entire time that i was pregnant that i wanted to breastfeed my son when I had him and so um, I kind of did some research and learned about a few things nipple confusion being one of them um, so I knew immediately when I had him that I didn't want him to use a pacifier or have a bottle because I never wanted him to get confused with those nipples versus mine I wanted him to uh, be able to latch on to me with no problem um, I watched a lot of different videos some mothers mentioned that their child had an issue latching on I didn't want that for him so I wanted as soon as he came out for him to try to latch to me I know that it's a natural thing for the most part but I wanted to make sure I had the latch perfectly um so that we could definitely maximize the experience and he would be able to get everything that he needed. I will also say that at the beginning, my thought was I will breastfeed, I'll pump, I'll, you know, do all these other things and life happens and you don't do everything that you plan to do. So, um, when I had him originally, as I mentioned in a previous video, they actually had to take him to the NICU because he wasn't breathing when he came out. And so when I went to visit him in the NICU, the first thing that they had me do was do my skin to skin and also have him latch on to me. Um, and he did. He kind of popped on and off or whatever, but they told me it was good. So I was like, okay. Um, I was kind of worried because I was like, no milk came out. But um, I later found out a term called colostrum. So they were like, he's going to get colostrum for the first couple of days until your milk comes in. So um, day two, he still was latching, still getting colostrum. And I thought, you know, well, this is normal. Hopefully my milk will come in later. Well, day two is when he had some struggles with his blood sugar. And um, it wasn't that he wasn't getting enough food, I guess. It was just that his levels were low. And the way to bring it up was to make sure that he got fed more and more food. So they told me at that point that we needed to supplement with formula. As a nursing mom, that's the worst thing or the worst feeling that you can have. It's like what I have isn't good enough for him. We have to supplement with formula. So I was very sad. Um, but they told me that they would feed it through a syringe versus a bottle so that he wouldn't experience nipple confusion. So that was a good way for him and his father to bond as far as the feeding and things like that. So my husband stepped up to the plate. He fed him with the syringe. Um to get his blood sugar up and once he was a-ok -okay, it seemed like as soon as he got better my milk came flooding in and so when i left the hospital my boobs were rocks like they were rock solid like they were firm heavy cement rocks i felt like they were they were i was in a lot of pain and so um the nurses told me as soon as i got home i should probably pump and all those things so i got home i pumped my milk was in, but I was still a little bit scarred from the hospital experience thinking that my milk wasn't enough. So when I got home, I breastfed him and it would just, I would be unsure because you don't know how much is leaving, how much he's getting. So I freaked out for probably the first 10 days of having him at home by myself. And I told my husband, I was like, maybe we need to use formula because I don't know if he's getting enough from me and I don't know if I'm producing enough and um, all those things. So it was kind of stressful just being uncertain about yourself so my first encouragement to any mom who would be nursing is 
trust your supply. Um, you have exactly what your baby needs. Um, as the more they feed off of you, the more your milk will fill in um, and things like that. So do not freak out. Do not be insecure about your supply. You have the exact amount that your child needs. So don't worry about that. Um, after I kind of got over that hurdle, my next hurdle was pumping. You guys, this is a big hurdle because I'm still trying to overcome this thing. <laughs> um, being an at home, I stay at home with my son. Um, my goal was to make sure that he was fed on demand. So we didn't necessarily have a strict schedule. Anytime that he wanted to eat, he ate. I was there. He was here. Let's go ahead and get it done. Um, so with that being said, because I didn't have a strict schedule for him, I never had a very strict schedule for pumping. And so for a while, I was pumping twice, two to three times a day. Um, I was pumping and, you know, doing that. And then it would go down to like twice a day and then once a day and then not pumping at all. Uh, <laughs> but I will say that one lesson that I have now learned sitting here, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. Um, I wish that I'd pump more because as good as my attachment is to my son, there are moments where, you know, I want to be able to leave him to be babysat or, you know, me and my husband get away and just have some time for just the two of us. Well, there's no other way to feed him besides me. He takes a bottle. Uh, the Tommy Tippy bottle is the bottle of his choice um but he does not take it as effectively as he will latch on to me and so you kind of have to force it and he'll pop it out and you push it back in and he'll pop it out again so um in hindsight i probably if i when i have my next child i will probably pump a lot more just so um that feeding isn't solely my responsibility and giving other people the opportunity to feed that child um, and bond with them in that way. And then that way I can have a little bit more mom time, especially mommy and daddy time. I miss that a lot. We don't get it as much because I constantly have to be available for feeding. So um, that's my other thing that I would tell you guys is to try to pump as much as you can. And so that was one thing that I experienced. Also, Coming from the place when I came home, like I said, my breasts were swollen. They were hard like rocks. They were huge. Um, and then a couple weeks later, they were just regular. And so I was like, oh, I have no more milk. Oh, my goodness. I freaked out. And me and my husband looked up um, some different ways to increase your lactation. And I will tell you that a lot of those things worked. When I was very strict on making sure that I had those things, my supply increased. It was steady flow. And still even now I have a natural steady flow, but just not as much as I did when I was very strict on what I was taking in. So um, number one, I ate lactation brownies like they were water like i every time i went into the kitchen i had a lactation brownie um there are recipes on pinterest if you just type in lactation brownie it's the easiest thing to make you pretty much make a regular brownie but you put flaxseed and brewer's yeast in there and so i made that and i ate it regularly every morning i was having oatmeal and I was putting flaxseed in my oatmeal. Um, I also took fenugreek. Fenu and I'm still actually taking the fenugreek. But I took it three times a day. Two pills per time. So literally six pills of fenugreek every day. Um, I was making sure that I stayed hydrated. So I was drinking water um, 20 ounces per meal. So those are the things that I did to make sure that I had enough milk for my son. Because I just did not want to not be able to supply him with food. Especially since I'm his only food source. Um, so I did that for a while. The best thing about nursing my son was that we connected our connection was so strong you will automatically have a connection with your child even if you don't choose to nurse but i feel like there were times people said it and i would deny it just to like make them feel good but i knew it's the truth so there were times where people would be like you're the only person that can calm him down you're the only person that he wants to go to you're the only person and i was like no 
but it was true. <laughs> totally true. And I just loved having that connection with him, you know, especially with him being my firstborn. And, you know, I was so in love with him and to have him be so in love with me too. It was great. I loved the connection and especially because I'm an attachment style parent. So anything that disconnects us, I'm like, nope, don't want it. And anything that brings us closer, I'm all for it. So, um, that was great. Um, and that's why I loved doing it. But like I mentioned earlier, the only thing that I would do is be sure that I pumped more in the future with my next child. I'll try to pump more so that other people can watch them. And also it will help with um, sleep training. We're getting to the age. My son is five months old as of yesterday. Um, and so we're getting to the age where he should be sleeping through the night. Well, now he comfort feeds, you know, when they start out, they're just eating for nourishment. And then they develop this thing called comfort feeding. And that's what he does, especially because he doesn't take a pacifier or a bottle. I'm the only thing that can make that suckling reflex that I'm the only person that can satisfy that. So he eats or feeds off of me for comfort and it hinders him through the night because if he is sleeping and that suckling reflex is coming up well I'm the only person that can satisfy it it wakes him up he wants to immediately be attached to me he doesn't even actually get milk he just is on there to be on there and I feel like you know, pumping would have helped with that because then he would be more used to the bottle. He would be able to just have his bottle and lay down and go to sleep, you know, those type of things. Or he would be able to take a pacifier. And at this point, there's no passy, no bottle, no nothing, just mama. And so that is what we're going through at this time. But if you're considering nursing, I'd say do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. It would, it's the best thing. I would have, I would not change my decision. If you don't want to nurse, you know, that's okay. That is all right. Don't let anyone shame you. This is a judge free channel. So there's no shame in that. I have friends who started off nursing and chose to move to the bottle just because it was better for their lifestyle. Hey, do what's best for you and your baby. Cause at the end of the day, it's all about their health and their happiness. So I appreciate you guys for coming on this channel. I will actually be putting a video up next week, you know, to make up for the week that I missed. So I'm going to put a video up next week for you guys. I appreciate you all tuning in. I love you. Before we go, remember that you are blessed, that you were chosen, and that you are indeed a mom on purpose. Have a good weekend.